Now we'll demonstrate new functions that greatly improve the efficiency of post-processing. Let's see how Fast Reporter's two functionalities can be used to batch process several OTDR measurements. Let's begin by opening files that need processing. Fast Reporter 2 now has the capability to perform zoom on specific sections of an OTDR graph and perform manual measurements using the markers or event markers of a specific event. Now we can easily move the graph using the small hand just like we would in a PDF document. We can also change the main trace by clicking on the different wavelengths. We can also access valuable information of a specific event simply by moving the mouse over the event marker. We can zoom in or zoom out by using the icon, by right-clicking on the graph, or we can use the Quick Access shortcut on the keyboard. For example, by pressing down Control or Control Shift or Control Alt keys on the keyboard, we will automatically allow you to respectively perform a zoom in XY, in Y only or X only. When zooming on a specific section, you can perform a manual measurement using the four markers. To call the marker in the zoom area, you can simply either click on the icon in the marker toolbar, press down Control Q on the keyboard, or you can double click anywhere on the graph. Once you see the markers, you can move them to the desired location to perform various manual measurements, such as a four point events loss and more. Another interesting function in the marker toolbar is the possibility to lock the markers. For example, you can lock them all and move all the markers at once. Another interesting function that comes with the integration of the zoom and markers is the possibility to add an event or edit the marker position of an existing event. To add an event by using one marker, simply position the marker A at the location where the new event is needed and click on the icon Add Event with Marker A. We can also click on the event number 4, and with the Modify Event Markers icon, we can change the position of this event. Now let's say that we would like to apply all the changes we have done to this trace, such as adding events, applying zoom and markers, to all the other OTDR measurements loaded in the session. To do so, we can use the Reference Trace tool, which will apply all those changes automatically to the other measurements. Missing events will be added and extra events will be removed to mirror the Reference Trace. This concept was already present with the previous version of Fast Reporter, but is also possible now to apply zoom and markers position to the other traces. Simply select the measurement you wish to use as the template and set it as the reference. As you can see in the measurement tab, you can see that the number of events present in each measurement is not necessarily the same as our reference trace. By applying the reference trace to all selected measurements, we will uniform the number of events in each trace. Note that we can also copy the same zoom and marker position of the reference traces by selecting this option. Now we can see that the number of events are the same, and the zoom in each file is the same as in the reference file. There are a few new functions that have been added to the reporting tool. One of the functions available is the possibility to generate individual report files. By selecting this option, Fast Reporter 2 will generate an individual report for each measurement or group. As shown on the screen, we have several A, B, and B, A measurements matched together as bidirectional measurement. If you check the original measurement file name option, Fast Reporter 2 will generate 10 OTDR reports 
and it will offer the possibility to reuse the file name of AB or BA measurement. Another option is the Launch Report Viewer option. This will open the report in Excel or PDF depending on the file type selected. 